Arr, we are back with some more Left 4 Dead 2, and this is Serenity Biz about to get destroyed. As everything outside looks horribly dark and damp. Because, I don't know why, we are in Georgia in the backyard of someone's cousin's... Does this really look like a town? I think this looks like an apocalyptic town that just kind of got thrown together because they were like, oh, we need uh, to make supplies and try to resemblance a kind of city that, you know, to make ourselves sane. Because I think we got a shop right here? Is that what it is? Yeah, we got a shop right here. And there's nothing but beer. Alright. Nothing like a red folk beer. Is that a dead person? Oh, yeah. She's like hunched over weirdly. But yeah. This is what we we go to when we're not fully sane. This is what we re we are reduced. Oh, hell no. I screw you, dude. Seems like everybody's wanting to join the party here. Knock knock. So. You know what? I would never want to be here if I was in an apocalyptic setting. I think, what would be the best place to be at? People are saying to avoid, you know, malls, hospitals, uh, what else? Airports. Like, all the places that you could get around or the services or what are really needed. No one ever goes to a police station. Wait. Do people go to a police station? I don't think we passed by one. Hero Witch. I don't know where she is. Oh, she's right there. But, police station. I don't know. Well, if you get there before, like, all hell breaks loose and you get to the guns first, I think you have a win situation there. I'm pretty sure the police station is, you know. What is Chris doing? I have no idea. But, isn't it, like, isn't a police station really forded down and, like, reinforced with everything? You would think, right? I'm pretty sure you, didn't w you don't want, like, cellmates or whatnot running free. Because that would surely suck. I don't know, who knows what they would do. And I don't like that spitter over there. But, you never know. I mean, not everybody comes their best when an apocalyptic situation happens. Yeah, I think I'll take that sword. Up. Oh! All right. And you guys stepped in anyway, like an idiot. Where did they get these lasers? Oh. All right. Didn't see that. Got friends. I'm getting okay. Nobody's watching this door. So. Uh, let's see. Couple of situations. People become assholes. Everyone fends for themselves. Families stick together, kinda. I don't know, who would you want to be stuck with? If it was an apocalyptic situation and you had a, like a main group that you had to stick around with, would you stick around family? Would you be with your friends? Would you be with a loved one? I don't know if you'd have a group of loved ones, but, or like lovers. Uh, you get what I mean. But, I don't know, That's that would be a really hard decision, because I love my family to bits. My family are not assholes like some families. So, I would be really torn. What would, who would not, who would I not be with? It's like, it's a really up in the air question. Because you either hate your family, or you don't. So, I don't necessarily- I hate some side of the family. Oh, Jesus, why am I not paying attention to the back? Just watching everybody else get punched around. Oh, Sunday. Sunday! Great. I'm hanging down in the mud. This was a bright idea. Oh, this is what I get. Alright, is there a way to get around? No, we have to- We have to use this stupid board, so yeah. That was a stupid idea. Say, say I'm rusty. I couldn't even hang on to where I used to be able to just stick around on. But now I just need to run through it because 
Yeah, reasons. Alright, there's Sunday. You're a jerk. Okay. Oh, she, she fucking spitted. Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe right here. I'm not safe when everybody's just running right. Ah, really? How did that explode? I didn't shoot it. Okay, it's a clearing. It's a clearing! So that's you! Alright, fuck you. I'm good. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one over here. Besides Piers. Piers, I keep shooting you. I'm so sorry. Oh man. Look at me get my ass kicked. I like getting my ass kicked. My stomach's growing. Holy shit. After this, I probably need to go eat. But. Come on, this way. Yeah. Do you love your family? Would you give up their, your life for them? Probably I'd give up my life for some of my family members. Like, my dad's side. Eh. Really could do without some of them. Uh. My mom's side is relatively fine now because there's one person or a couple people that are not even in the picture anymore, so. Because they're mean and stupid and. What's that? Oh! Nope! <laughs> that was close. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, I'm in rambling. rambling. And if I could talk, that'd be nice too. Come on, Smoker Man. Ah, uh, I really want to use this shotgun. I'm really tired of fucking using the pistols. Why do I